Hey, what's up guys? Adi here with a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. And today we're talking about Photoshop actions and how you can uh, use those to improve your workflow. So I'll show you the two actions I've been using re uh, recently. And I invite you to uh, research and study the subject. Maybe you can uh, find some actions that really suit your, uh, your own purposes and will really help you um, get things done much, much faster. So let's switch to Photoshop. And lately I found myself working with uh, grids. And I have this uh, baseline grid coupled with a 960 grid that is in, uh, in a group of layers on top of my layer stack. So whenever I want to see it, I just click this and then I just hide it. But uh, sometimes I work really fast and I just want to check if the text down here is aligned with the grid and maybe I'm, I don't know, working on some layer at the bottom here. And it's kind of hard just to scroll up, uh, try to find the grid, click it, look back, see if it's aligned and then going back and uh, hiding the grid. So. Uh, the easiest way to do this is by using actions. So let's go to window, actions, and I'll create a new set. It's called Adi's actions. I'll create a new action and I'll say show grid. I'll give it a function key of F1 and a color of green. All right and I will click on record. And then I'll just go to, to this uh, layer group that I wanna show and click this. And automatically uh, Photoshop created a new action called show layer grid. And that's it, you can just click on stop. And now the layer grid, uh, sorry, the, uh, the action is created. Uh, the other action is hide grid. Oops. and the function key is F2, color green, click on record, I'll hide this and you can see it created an action called hide layer grid. Click on stop and that's it. Now if I want to show the layer, I just press F1, if I want to hide it, I press F2. Okay really really easy and I can't even imagine uh, how it would have been if I didn't discover this it just saves me a lot of time okay uh, the next one that I find myself doing um, well the next thing that I find myself doing all the time is exporting images for web so the way I do it is I, uh, I go to a group of layers or a, sim or a single layer I right click, duplicate group in a new document, click OK, and then I go to image, trim, select transparent pixels, click OK, and then I go to file, save for web and devices, and I just follow the steps there. But you can uh, do that with Photoshop Actions, uh, and it's doing it really fast with just a, uh, a push of a button. So. Let's select this layer, open up the actions panel again, new action, let's say slice it up, function is going to be F3, color is green. All right, so I'll press record and then I'll just uh, right click here, duplicate group, new, click OK. And now uh, Photoshop has made an action that says make document using current layer. So the layer you selected. Okay, next go to image trim, click OK. And the next image would be to save for web and devices. And to do that, you must go to, uh, to this uh, button right here and you need to insert menu item. 
and then you go to file and choose the menu item you want. In my case, it's save for web and devices. Okay, and now the menu item has changed to file, save for web and devices. Okay, I click OK. And then I go to file and I click on close. Uh, sorry, I uh, create a new menu item again, file uh, and close. Okay, and that's it. Close this and let's try it out. So let's say I want to export, I want to export the whole logo thing right here. So I grab the current layer, I press F3. It takes me directly into the save for web and devices dialog. And I click save on my desktop, for instance. And then it closes. I click on don't save. And that's it. <laughs> you saw just how easy that was. And uh, if you want to do this really fast, if you have a bunch of images lying around, you can just go here, select the one you need, save it, give it a name, don't save. And there you go. In just a couple of seconds, uh, you selected and exported and trimmed um, three images uh, for web. And that's really fast. It's much faster than, uh, than you could have done by, by yourself by clicking and duplicate and following uh, all the other steps. Now, uh, these are the two actions that uh, I use all the time. As I said, really helpful. And you can assign uh, keystrokes to them, or you can go here and select the button mode. And that will um, create a couple of buttons. And the green ones are those that we created, F1, F2, F3. Okay, so if you click on them, they'll, uh, they'll do the same thing as the keystroke. Okay. Well, that was it for today's quick tip, guys. Hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Web Design Tuts and let me know what you think. Thanks. I'll see you next time.